Hello everybody, we are literally in the midst of Ignite right now. I am here with Mario, the CTO of Avpoint. And if Avpoint sounds familiar, it's probably because Dux and I hang out once a month doing a podcast. But we are at the booth next to the red Ducati. Right. And uh, what's going on in your world, man? Well, great, great to be here. Pleasure to hang out with you guys and thanks for chatting with us. Um, there's a lot going on actually this week for us. It's quite exciting to be here. Of course, we're gonna wave the Ducati, but more importantly, meeting a lot of customers, talking about digital transformation and the challenges they face. Uh, Ducks actually earlier today did a great uh, you know, session talking about teams adoption. But mostly for us, it's an opportunity to emphasize our opportunities to help customers with governance strategies, our capability that we have in the cloud, helping customers adopt teams and programmatically implement them in a way in which it's practical. Um, that's really the opportunity for us at a show like this. Um, we also have today uh, a number of conversations going on regarding the privacy of information and protection of information. Which is a big deal. Exactly. So we not only help with the governance perspective, but we also help with the data protection side of the information inside of an ecosystem like 365. And so it's been fantastic just sharing those stories and again, walking customers through a more practical way of thinking about the solution. So that's a, it's an interesting segue here. So 130 million, uh, I think that was the last reported number of commercial license for Office 365. That number is obviously going up. What are the trends and what are you seeing as customers you know, move across from on-premises to that cloud infrastructure? What, what are the challenges? What's, yeah. what's going on in there? It's a great, great point. So you know, one of the trends we're seeing is that in that transformation, mm -hmm. what they're actually concerned about is the inventory of the data, understanding exactly what's in a data set, what's in the workload they're about to move. So we're actually constantly hitting themes about classification of information okay. and how can we actually help them uh, remediate a migra migration strategy. So typically a shift and lift move is what you think about when you move to the cloud, but the reality is that you actually want to be better prepared before you move a bunch of information into the cloud, understand what impact that information is going to have and what sensitivity levels it has. So for us, yeah, a theme has been help us really programmatize gotcha. our, our move to the cloud, but is there any way through technology that we can automate the investigation of the data set so that we appropriately can actually position it inside of the different workloads of 365? Now what about compliance? Because that is a big, there's so many different regulations if you're in the financial sector, health sector, and all that good stuff. When you're lifting and shifting, how do you deal with compliance while data, that data's in transit? How does that, that work? Well, I mean, there, you know, normally what we find is most of these companies um, do have a classification schema in place. Okay. What is lacking is that that, cl that classification schema hasn't had you know, sort of agility once you move it into an ecosystem where information is going to be shared across different norms. Uh, so the challenge I think is what's going to happen to my document if it's actually shared in a conversation mm -hmm. and then suddenly that, that information is being shared again and by the third time it gets shared, you know, has it left its original sort of repository. Okay. And so an organization may struggle with that because the abstract layer of information, you know, sharing in 3C5 is different. I'm no longer inside of, let's say, the messaging platform. I'm actually cross-pollinating the different services. So I think that's the challenge that they, they don't really understand how that can work. What we see is that a prescribed approach where we actually can break it out and compartmentalize the different layers of that okay. is where companies go, okay, I can see now a pragmatic approach, so how do we plan for that? Um, and what we're actually helping companies do is, you know, think about a secure location in 365, for example, where you move the information, you constantly investigate, and if it's quite sensitive, you could also start to do archiving and other sort of data management uh, strategies on top of that. I mean, obviously, the lift and shift and moving to the cloud can be complex and can be daunting, but, but that's when you guys come in, right? I mean, you, yeah. you go with the people who have done it before. You don't want to be moving corporate data your first time and just kind of you know, press and, and cover the eyes and make sure things happen. Well, especially because at the end user, you know, the spirit of 365 is ease of use. So you don't want the end user to actually think about, I'm about to share this document, mm -hmm. am I sharing a sensitive document? You actually want them to work in context and not think about that. So for us on the operational side or the implementation side, how we architect that and, and factor in all the complexities of compliance yeah. is critical. And so let, let's look ahead a little bit if we shall. So 2018, we're in the you know, latter half here, second half, deep into the second half at this point. What do you think is going to be coming on the horizon for 2019 for yourself, for Office 365? What do you think is coming up ahead? Well, you know, I think that most of the customers, I think, are in almost you know, they, they've, they're sort of leaving that early phase adoption of, 
you know, collaborative services like 365. I think now they're trying to be more pragmatic and saying, how do we impact the business? Okay. How do we impact line of business? And specifically, how do we increase productivity? So we'll probably start seeing a lot more core use cases inside line of business that'll probably, you know, pull us and the gravity will probably be to build business applications that are tailored for that. Obviously, within the fabric of 365. Yeah. So, you know, I think that's the, probably the next phase for us, which is critical, yeah. obviously, in the full adoption. Very, very cool. Is there anything else you want to let us know about AppPoint before we, before we move on? No, I think it's great. Um, you know, what we continue to do is help customers both in on-premise and in the cloud, but I think the hybrid conversation continues, and it's important for customers to know that they don't have to make that whole transition immediately. Uh, remaining hybrid is a real possibility, and that all these prescribes, you know, scenarios that we're talking about sure. uh, could really work, even if you're still, you know, carrying workloads that are on premise for a while. And if people want to find out more, what's the best way to find you guys? Well, obviously, visit our site, but more importantly, we're on Twitter. Uh, we're here at the show. We'll be, you know, doing our party tomorrow at, uh, I think it's uh, a Cafe or something like that. Yep, Cuba Libre. Cuba Libre. We'll be there, but. Um, uh, and we're also doing a lot of uh, blogging throughout the conference and, more importantly, connecting with you guys often. Very much appreciate your time. Best of luck, and we'll, uh, we'll catch you around the conference floor. Thanks yeah. for hanging out.